Come on. Come on, where are you? Come on. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where is it? Come on. I know the last time I saw it was a few hundred years or so ago. Come on. I've never really needed it until now, but Carl, why can you never find anything? Too many extra dimensional spaces. Too many, to too many, too many, too many, too many. Ah, so many thoughts in this head. Come on, where is it? Aha! There you are. How is this possible? I just bi generated. And there are two doctors, two, not three. Third, I must have tri generated, but that's impossible. No, 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 no. I mean, three doctors, three doctors running around at the same time. That, that, thinking about it, that happens surprisingly often, too often, but not like this, not like now. And another face. Okay, think, think, calm down, breathe, check, head, shoulders, knees, toes, aha, perfect. Um, I need to, ooh, how does this work? If I remember. There we go, now we're cooking. Ah, the good old eye mirror. Ooh, when was this invented? 2035? Ooh, this thing revolutionized toilet time. Okay, new body, new joints, new features, new muscles, new bones, new thoughts, new feelings, but old face, second time round, third time round? How many times, how many years, how many noses? One, good start. Okay, rest, focus. <sighs> Calm down, doctor. Ah. <sighs> oh. The old new hearts, quite the adrenaline rush. Okay, so self assessment. Hmm. I just remembered why I haven't used this in a few hundred years. Clearly hasn't been updated. Oh. Agree to terms and conditions. No, just a... Uh, that's all right. Ordinary mirror. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, so... Frontalis. Ooh. That's a big one. Temporalis. Still going strong. Nasalis? Ooh, always bigger than I'd like. Orbicularis oculi. Okay, the other orbicularis oculi. Yep, two of those. Orbicularis auris. That doctor is a very big mouth. Lucky for me, I like to talk. Sternocleidomastoid. As a next go, that is an impressive neck. Might be the best one yet. Even better than the first time round. Focus, Doctor. You don't want to become neckless. Swiftly moving on. Deltoids. Ooh. That's a very disappointing deltoid. Ooh, much the same there. 
Gonna have to work on that. Still, strength has never been my forte. Strength of character, yes. Strength of deltoids. <laughs> Rotator cuff. That one seems to be rotatory. And this one, ooh. Second regeneration in, and it's still sore. Ooh, how is that possible? I thought things were supposed to be getting better with each generation. Still, try generation. Maybe there wasn't enough left in the tank for full refurb. Ugh, still, just have to look after that. Biceps, brachii. That all seems to be in working order. Brachialis. Ooh, that vein's in the wrong place. The other Brachialis. I have the impression that one side got all the good stuff and the other side got all the rubbish. Still, plenty of nerves and tendons to go. The pronatal terrace. The other pronator terrace. Okay. And the brachio radialis. And the other brachio radialis okay that concludes the arms uh, next heads shoulders oh let's do the chest pectoralis major pectoralis minor in my case I really should think about installing a gym in the TARDIS somewhere. Maybe next to the disco. Uh, one thing at a time, Doctor. One thing at a time. Rectus abdominalis. They must be there somewhere. Rectus abdominalis, where are you? Oh, I found one, I found one. Okay, check. Uh, the abdominal, external, oblique. Seems to be doing its job. And the other abdominal, external, oblique. True ribs. The other true ribs. No breaks or cracks. Very nice. False ribs. Oh, 
Barbecue ribs? Mmm, barbecue ribs. Ah, that would explain the absence of the rectus abdominalis. Uh, and phallus uh, later. Now, let's proceed to the legs. Righty ho, so we've examined the upper extremities. So now I shall proceed to the lower ones. Uh, actually, we did forget the hands, so maybe we should do that. Let's see first. Carpals. This muscle here, or this group of muscles that provide life forms with their opposable thumbs. Seems to be all right. Now, the metacarpals, joints that move the first group of knuckles of the fingers. Yes, those all seem to be working as they should be. Okay, right. Now, this group of knuckles are called the phalanges joints. Not a lot of flexibility there, I have to say. But nothing unusual, nothing untoward. The phalanges are an unusual joint. And the in pinky finger. Okay, so nothing wrong with that hand. And the other hand, carpals. Metacarpals. All good. The phalanges. Yeah, still not a lot of flexibility in this hand neither in the phalanges. But nothing uncommon. Generally, not the most dexterous of joints. But they do what they're supposed to do. So the hands, absolutely fine. Ooh, something else. We need to test the blood capillary refill. Pinky finger. That's fine. Next one. That's okay. Middle finger. Good, good. Index finger. All right. And the thumb. Good. The other hand. Pinky finger. Good. Next. Very quick. Middle finger. That's fine as well. Index finger. And the thumb. Good. Quick blood capillary refill. So on to the legs first. Inside here we have the adductor muscles. Hmm. Those are quite solid actually. That will be very handy for when I need to run, which I expect I will be doing a lot of. Next we have the quadriceps femoris. This muscles here. Upwards. Okay. And the other quadriceps femoris. This muscle here that extends and contracts. 
support the weight of the rest of the leg. That's working fine. Here we have the peroneus longus, this muscle that covers the outside of the shin. I have to say, the leg muscles are much better than my arms. And the peroneus brevis, which correlates beneath. You can feel that. Move when you flex your foot. Tibialis anterior. So, doctor, clean bill of health for you. Well done. New regeneration. Marginally successful. Uh, hmm. Not sure what this is, not sure where it came from, but you can't go swanning about the cosmos in this. New doctor, new me, new man, new wardrobe. <gasps> the wardrobe! I haven't seen the wardrobe in this TARDIS yet. Hmm, gonna have to bring the mirror. What's that thing that they do? Oh yeah. Okay, that's fixed in place. Good, so this is the new TARDIS wardrobe. Very exciting. Now I need to find the perfect attire to match this new old face. Now I think the best thing to do would be to start with the shirt. Mm, yes, the shirt is the basis of the whole ensemble. It's a very productive starting point. Wait right there, Dr. Reflection, and I shall return. Okay, so... This... is the shirt I wore first time I had this face, or is it the last time this face had me? It's very hard to tell how it works these days. It's always a new surprise. So this served me very well. Very muted tones. Very clean cut. Very broad shoulders. Hmm. The collar is a bit worn. They say the classics never die, and I'm very inclined to agree. But in this case, maybe something a bit more Dated. After all, I'm not the same man I once was. I remember everything. All those experiences. I need the clothes to match. So I'm not done with this look. With this shirt. Might have to be retired. Let's see what other options we have. Alright, now this little number I picked up the last time I was in the Wild West. 
very broad shoulders useful for hiding those disappointing deltoids very intricately woven design now this is what first drew my attention to this shirt very delicately woven inlay this kind of serves as a reminder that time is not linear it curls it swirls it flares and flickers like a flame very timey-wimey not so wibbly-wobbly but definitely on the right track very me and me and me hmm. too many me's let's just focus on the one in the mirror for now now I made a few modifications to this shirt notice the buttons very reflective very reminiscent of the round things. I love the round things. Still no idea what they are, but I love them all the same. Now, these buttons are special because these buttons are sonic. Sonic screwdriver, the Sonic cane, Sonic glasses, why not Sonic buttons? If one breaks, I have a spare. Very difficult to lose those, I must say, unless they rip the shirt from my back. Hmm. That would be awkward in more ways than one. Now, this is actually a combo. Now I do so like red. With this particular shade, maybe a bit ostentatious. Very glaring. Very waving a red flag at a bull in the china shop. Could be more hazardous for my health. As I said, I don't want to repeat the regeneration process too early on. Still, maybe in a darker tone. I do like the collar. It does serve well to accentuate the neck. But if I'm closing the collar, hides the underlay which makes it redundant hmm. maybe this one isn't ready to venture outside just yet pity still let's move on Nothing says doctor like classic white. It's very crisp, very clean, very balanced. White just goes with everything. Very understated, hmm. very bland. 
striking collar that also requires a lot of maintenance, a lot of cleaning, and of all the running I do, might not be the most practical choice. I wonder what Donna would think. Maybe I should ask her. Mm. That might be slightly awkward, considering as I'm already there. Or at least another version of me. And it is a version she is content with. Mm. Let's leave it for another time. For the white, I am not feeling it. No. Back to the drawing board. Okay, this is more like it. Red, daring, but not ostentatiously so. Great cut. Fitted shoulders. And very discreet rectus abdominalis. Very fine fabric. This could be it. This could be the one. What do you think, Doctor? Hmm, I like it, I do. Do I like it? Like, do like. Hmm. Still need to fire up some of the synapses. Still in the middle of a regeneration phase. What can you expect? Hmm, I think we have our shirt. Now, we just need to build over it. What else can we find in here? Ooh, look at this. Right. So, trousers. Black. Fine cut. Neutral, but breathable. Formal, yet subdued. I think these are the trousers. So, we have our base. Hmm. Needs something more. Ooh, I know. Patterns. Oh, now this is brilliant. This is quite something. Yes. Ooh, and over here. What's over there? Oh, how did I miss this? Okay. This one, that one, and this one. No, 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 not that one, not that one. Uh, ooh, over here. black, a little bit morbid, maybe too much businessman. Hmm. Now, 
this pattern. Very subtle and yet kind of quirky. Very fashionable, depending on what century you're visiting. And considering I've been to all of them, I think that makes me a very good judge. Now, how does this go? You have, I have one, two, three, four buttons. Now there are very specific rules that come with buttons on finery such as this. Uh, so top button, always. Uh, second or third is maybe if you have four, you can decide on these two. But the last one, the last button, never, you never fasten the last button. You always leave it undone. And there's a few reasons for this. But later, I'm going to show you my favourite. So, I think we have our waistcoat. There is so much in here. It just goes on and on. It never ends. We're getting closer to the full outfit. This doctor is definitely a hat man. Hmm. Very cool, very suave. Hmm, again black, maybe grey. looking at you kid maybe another time maybe another doctor says macho like a Stetson. <sighs> River Song would hate this hat, which makes me want to wear it all the more. Very solid. Good protection. This could be up there. This could be in the top three. As reflections go, you are one cool cowboy. I just remembered something. Whatever happened to that horse? There used to be a horse here in the TARDIS. I haven't been feeding him. Where's he gone? Is he in here? Hmm, this, now this is more like it. Can't quite remember the name of the style. I like to call them London cabby caps. That's better. Why wear a hat? if you're going to wear it the same as everyone else. Hmm, but the blue, very light, very pale, kind of offsets the red that we chose earlier. Hmm. What about this one? Hmm, very 
very tight fitting. Ooh. Now this was a doctor whose head was not as big as mine. <sighs> Can't really decide if that's a compliment or not. But very firm fitting. Also very newsies, very paper boy. Hmm. Well, third one's a charm. Ooh. Now this has something special, something very unique. Very smooth sides. Folds very gracefully behind the ears. Well-rounded dome. Hmm. Now this hat contains definite possibilities. I think we have a winner. Now there's one accessory I'm missing. Be right back. Ties. This doctor has to have a tie. Can't just go running around with your top button undone. What do you think I am? Some kind of Neanderthal? Hmm. Red shirt with a red tie. No, thank you. Ooh. Black. Very smooth. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Has been. I see you haven't lost your touch. Hmm. Let's see. Red shirt. But not the black waistcoat. Certainly a possibility. Oh no. This isn't the permatie, is it? see in the future some companies insist that their employees never remove their ties. This is one of them. <laughs> this calls for the laser scissors. <laughs> Alright, so that is a no to the black tie forever. So we are left with TARDIS blue, temple blue, or white. Hmm. White is neutral. go with everything. So this white has a very narrow tip. Hmm. Could leave the collar undone, but it does go against my better nature with the white tie. Very he was a skater boy, see you later boy. Which I'm not sure any of my companions would understand the reference. White down, two to go. 
So we are left with TARDIS blue or temporal blue. Now this one does have a variety of squared blues across the fabric. Very smart, very organized. Now this one, squares and rectangles, but in a very chaotic pattern with some temporal spheres. Another nod to the round things. Man, I love the round things. Very abstract. You never quite know what exactly the pattern will show next. Hmm. Tardis blue, temporal blue. You know what? It might be time to see the whole ensemble together. It's a shame the eye mirror never took off. They never quite worked out the bugs. I'm going for a rolled up look. seen a button so small. Very firm. Oh yes. First, hmm, maybe some trousers. Cannot well do without the proper trousers. I haven't even ascertained if these are the correct size. 
don't know if I've gained or lost a few pounds since my last physicality check. Might need to invest in a full length mirror. Ooh, like a glove. Okay. Hmm. Now, what about the tie? Doctor, you have outdone yourself. Now, the finishing touch. This is one of the main reasons you never fasten the bottom button on your waistcoat. Fog watches such as this come with a clip and you always fasten it into the bottom buttonhole so you can keep it in your pocket just so. Hmm. Well, Doctor, you've done it again. Very suave, very smooth. Whole new Doctor, whole new TARDIS. Time and space await. Let's go.